Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to explore the QChat GPT plugin. You can find it in the Plugins Manager. It was developed by Marius Kiriakou, and when you install the plugin, it will install the first time uh, some dependencies. Um, I've installed it before, so this went a bit faster. Um, and you will find an icon in the toolbar, or you find the tool in the Plugins menu. Let's first uh, open a map here in the background, OpenStreetMap, and uh, let's play around with ChatGPT. Let's first ask uh, how we could use ChatGPT in QGIS. Gives here an answer uh, of what I already uh, showed, so that's good. But it doesn't really give information on uh, what it's useful for. So let's uh, try a few other things. Let's zoom in to a country, let's go to the Netherlands and see if it can help finding the EPSG code of the projection. And it correctly returns the EPSG code of the Netherlands 28992, which I can copy and change the projection of the project. Let's see if it can find locations, and then it would be useful if it uh, returns text that it's in GeoJSON format. So I'm going to ask to give me a GeoJSON of uh, Rotterdam. And it returns uh, a polygon, but it looks uh, truncated, so I don't think that is uh, useful. Maybe uh, the plugin can only return a few lines. So let's ask for uh, a point, specifically. Let's copy this. And open the data source manager. Go to vector. Change the protocol. Choose GeoJSON and uh, paste it at uh, the URI. Click Add. Close the dialog and our point is there in Rotterdam. So that went well, that's in the center of Rotterdam. Let's see if it can really be used as a geocoder. So I'm going to ask uh, to return the point of an address. I'm using here uh, the address of IG Delft Institute for Water Education, which is at Westfest 7 in Delft. Here it returns the string, which I copy. And I open it. Let's click right zoom to layer and see where it's placed the point. It is near Delft, but it doesn't seem to be the correct location. So it's a bit off, it's at the cemetery. It's not the place where I'm working. So let's uh, test this further. Let's try an easier place, the Markt in Delft. It's the big uh, Markt square you see there. So please give me the location of the Markt in Delft, also in the GeoJSON format. Let's see where it ends up. It doesn't add up at the marked somewhere else. So, so this one is off. So it doesn't really do a good job with uh, specific uh, locations. It doesn't beat a real uh, geocoder. What about asking uh, ChatGPT for suggestions for a plugin to get uh, a backdrop? That is an option, although I think the Quick Map Services plugin is a bit more popular. Let's see if it can find a URL of a WMS with a topographical map of the Netherlands. Let's copy the URL. Create a new WMS connection. Give it a name. Paste the URL and click connect. Doesn't seem to work. Yeah, let's remove the last part, it might uh, give some problems. And also, that doesn't work. I've tried it with several, but it uh, never worked until now. So, it's not really good in returning uh, the URLs that we need. Maybe I should just ask uh, where to download something. 
So let's ask where I can download point cloud data for the Netherlands. It doesn't return a URL and also not the resources that I know. They're not very uh, specific. Um, so I also don't find this response very uh, helpful. Let's see if it can help writing a PyQGIS script for iterating over a point layer. So it returns the script in one long line of text, a long string, which you need to uh, cut into the correct pieces uh, to formulate uh, the script. So you need to be quite experienced to uh, use this already. I've seen much better results in the uh, online chat GPT uh, version. Then maybe it can find uh, helpful YouTube channels. So what about asking if it knows a YouTube channel on uh, QGIS for hydrological applications? It's returning some uh, channel that I don't really uh, know. I think uh, my own channel does better in the Google search engine than uh, here in ChatGPT. Um, but at least you can check it out. Maybe it can better help with uh, finding books about QGIS for hydrological applications. And it returns uh, several books here, uh, which I'm not very aware of. So good to see some, uh, some titles here that I can check out. So maybe it can uh, tell what a certain uh, plugin does. Let's ask about the PC Raster Tools plugin. This uh, gives a description of the PC Raster Tools plugin. It's not completely uh, correct because it doesn't deal with uh, vector and table layers. It only deals uh, with uh, with rasters, um, but it gives a bit of an idea what it uh, does. Next question I would like to ask is, uh, how do I easily load a world map with country boundaries in QGIS? And I hope that it returns uh, the Easter egg that I know that you can type in the coordinate field, you type there a world, and it will return the map. Here it mentions now the Quick Map Services plugin, and it also mentions uh, Natural Earth, but it doesn't mention the, the Easter egg. So let's uh, ask if it knows more about Easter eggs in QGIS. Yes, it knows a few. They are hidden in the menu settings, and some of these include a retro style photo mosaic of the QGIS logo, a secret toolbar, and a flight simulator style map view. Could be, but uh, I was looking for the ones that you type into the coordinate field and it doesn't seem to know about those. Let's ask uh, for some more details on finding these. Now the problem is that if you just ask that, um, this question is not depending on your previous question here in this uh, chat. So you need to uh, formulate uh, a full new question. So each question is independent. So let's formulate uh, complete question on how to get this retro style photo mosaic uh, of the QGIS logo. And it responds that that's uh, not possible. <laughs> so that's funny after first mentioning that there's an Easter egg for it. So it's not giving away how to find that Easter egg. It's keeping the secrets. Uh, let's ask where the next uh, QGIS contributor meeting is. It says it will be virtually uh, on May 1 and 2 in 2021. So the next one is uh, two years ago, one and a half year ago. So that's a bit strange. So incorrect because the next one we'll organize in the Netherlands in Sertogenbos and you're all welcome to join. So what QDS plugin can I use for Krieging? It uh, returns that I can use the semi-automatic classification plugin that's a bit strange because that is for remote sensing analysis and uh, not for Krieging. Um, there's the smart map plugin, for example. You can watch another video on my YouTube channel to see how that works. So um, after playing around with uh, QChat GPT, I can see that it is good in finding globally locations uh, on the map. But if we get more specific um, with uh, street addresses or specific locations, it can't uh, find that. It can give descriptions of plugins, although you have to be careful that's not always uh, correct. And it cannot really give a full overview of uh, resources if you need it on any topic, so you need to be careful. But uh, I, I'm curious if you know any use cases for which we can uh, use this, and I'm happy to test them. So if you know any use cases, please uh, post it in the comments of this video. I'm very curious what you come up with.